بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ان دا لاسٹ لیکچر وی اسٹڈیڈ اباؤٹ سی لیول فٹ میٹر فٹ از دی یونٹ آف ساؤنڈ ان اے ورلڈ اٹ از ریکگنائزڈ بائی وال ساؤنڈ ایز وی گیو دی ایگزامپل وی لسن دی ایگزامپل آف گارڈن گا ڈھن اٹ ہیز ٹو سی لیول ون از گا اینڈ دی ادر از ڈھن تو سو اٹ از ٹو سی لیول نیکسٹ از وی اسٹڈیڈ اباؤٹ فٹ Foot is the unit of stressed and unstressed syllable in the line of poetry. In poetry, there are two types of syllables, syllables stressed and unstressed. This, this meter is followed in the line of poetry. Every poet uses this syllable. And meter. Meter is regular pattern of stressed and unstressed syllable that gives the rhythm in the poetry, that makes the beautiful, that makes um, use to the reader to the listeners but in today's lecture we will study i am uh, we will study two syllabled food and three syllabled food two syllabled food who are the which are the two syllabled food i am trochi spondy pyrrhic dactyl first if we see i am i am is the unstressed syllable followed by stressed syllable like describe describe mean we will give little stress on this then cribe there will be more stress than this troke troke is also a two syllabled food like costume how it will be pronounced it will be pronounced uh, first we will give stress on the first syllable on the second syllable there uh, there will be no there will be little stress as like cos custom 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 spondy spondy is also a two syllable food in spondy there is there will be st both syllable will be stressed like cupcake cupcake mean there will be equal stress on both the syllable pyrrhic pyrrhic uh, is also a, a two syllable food in which like to a green thought it is rarely used in poetry dactyl 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 is three syllable syllable food in which like if we see a word poetry poetry so let's see it with detail first of all we study uh, we are studying iambic feet what is iambic feet it works like heartbeat d d d d mean d mean little bit st stress unstressed d is unstressed syllable and dumb is more stressed stressed syllable unstressed in the line of poetry unstressed syllable will be followed by stress stressed syllable let's take an example from shakespeare shakespeare's sonnet which is of pan iambic pentam from iambic pentameter so long as men can breathe our eyes can see mean these green words are these green words are unstressed syllable long red words are stressed syllable unstressed syllable are followed um, by the stressed syllable this meter uh, this is the exemplary meter which is used in the shakespeare's poem in this in his sonnets if we see here there are 10 syllable there are 10 syllables Ten syllable mean two syllable unstressed and stressed make one foot. In this line there are five feet. Five feet mean this is iambic pentameter. This line is taken from Shakespeare's sonnet. How we will study it? So long as men can breathe, our eyes can see. Mean two two syllable so long two syllable one foot as men two syllable one foot so here are five feet in this line and this will be called as iambic pentameter next you can see the number of feet so long it is one one feet as men as men two second feet can breathe third feet our eyes our eyes fourth feet can see it is fifth feet so we will we will call it iambic pentameter 
let's find how you can name it name the foot uh, foot can uh, name can foot name can be given by number of feet if there is one foot in a line that will be if there is one foot in a line that will be called monometer if there are two feet in a line that will be called dimeter if there are three feet that will be called trimeter if there are four feet that will be called tetrameter if there are five feet in a line that will be called pentameter if there are six feet in a line that will be called hexameter if there are seven feet in a line that will be called heptameter by if there are eight feet in a line that will be called octameter this is this is uh, this is all about one line of po poetry mean how many syllable are there this is recognized the syllable and foot name next let's see one more example of iambic pent a tetrameter i think that i shall now see if we see i think there is less stress on this i think one syllable one feet one foot i think that i second feet foot shall now three third foot where see never is a word which have two syllable never na wo so it is third feet wo see it is fourth feet this line consist of fourth feet mean eight syllable and fourth feet so we can call it tetrameter this is iambic tetrameter next uh, let's see trochee trochee is also a foot uh, the foot used in this trochee uh, in this meter is Uh, opposite to the i am in i am there is unstressed syllable followed by stressed but in troke but in troke we will use stressed syllable followed by unstressed unstressed syllable like dum da like heard we dum da dum da let's see an example of this troke double double toil and trouble double has two syllable double two syllable toil toil no uh, seed toil it is oil oil it is giving the, no, uh, the sound of oil which has two uh, it looks like two syllable but it has it is uh, has no two syllable it has only one it which gave the sound of diphthong diphthong so it is one syllable toil and second one more syllable trouble trouble had two syllable so this line has Eight syllable and four feet, so we can call it. We may call it trochee tetrameter. This is also uh, two syllable. Trochee is also two true two syllable foot. Next is spondy. Spondy is also two syllable foot in which which is different than the both I am and and trochee. In spondy there are. there is on, only stress syllable used but it is rarely used in poetry it is very very less used in poetry it's it how it works it works like dum dum mean both are stress syllable the example of say spondy is o oh, dark 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 but see it here amid the blaze of moon in this amid the blaze of moon this is this is following the iambic pentameter I, I this is following the i am mean amid two syllable two syllable unstressed followed by stress mean i am in this using the i am amid unstressed amid am first unstressed it stress the the blaze stressed and unstressed of unstressed moon stressed mean this spondy is very rarely used in the line of poetry but um, poet and writer use it to give some impression to give some stress on their writing so they use next is pyrrhic pyrrhic as like spondy pyrrhic is also used very rarely in poetry what is used in it it is also called dibra in it is at all opposite of the spondy in spondy there is stress syllables but in pyrrhic there are unstressed syllable followed by 